The singer Janie Jones, convicted of controlling prostitutes in 1974, met Hindley and Holloway and became convinced she was innocent. I couldn't believe it because I was expecting something violent and something that looked, you know, really evil. But she was tall, she had hooded eyes, um, very cold eyes, but didn't look as though she could have committed the atrocities that she did. You know, she just looked like the girl who lived next door to you and she was very sort of gentle and very kind and she could be so nice. And she said, I have dreams where I've got gray hair, it's silver, and I'm being wheeled out in a wheelchair out in front of the prison, you know, when I'm 65. And uh, it was very sad to listen to that, you know. And I thought, well, if she didn't take part in the crimes like she's telling me, it's such a shame that she's in the, you know, uh, such torment. I left Holloway in May 77, and I started a campaign for Myra Hindley's freedom. When I read the newspapers in 1987, where Myra Hindley took the, uh, Mr. Topping to the moors to show them exactly where the bodies were, I screamed to the top of my voice. I absolutely freaked out. I couldn't believe it. And I thought, right, she's conned me, she's conned Lord Longford, she's gotten an officer six years imprisonment. Uh, everything she's told me, she is just a pathological liar and a very, very convincing liar at that. And I'm afraid I cried my eyes out. She only confessed because she wants her freedom at any cost. 